You know what day it is. It is Thursday. It is Throwback Thursday. Luke joining us from Midway Village Museum. Thanks for being with us. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Got up real early with the hailstorm, but I'm doing okay now. I was going to say, you, you and a lot of other of our viewers out there this morning. Okay, we are talking a little bit about the Civil War time period and Camp Fuller, which is actually a base here in Rockford. Yeah, it's a story few people in Rockford really are familiar with because it goes so far back in our history. But in uh, the summer of... Uh, 1862, uh, Illinois Adjutant General Alan C. Fuller of Belvedere opened a wow. Civil War training base in the Churchill Grove neighborhood along what now is Harlem Boulevard and uh, Auburn Street and National Avenue along the Rock River. It's so interesting because you know you see the houses there now and, yeah. and you don't really think about what it was beforehand mm -hmm. and really how far it dates back towards that Civil War time period. You bet, you bet. It was, uh, it was a place where Four uh, regiments were trained before they went off to fight uh, later in, in the war. Uh, the 72nd Regiment was con uh, comprised of Winnebago County men, and mm -hmm. then the 92nd, 95th, and 96th Regiment were comprised of uh, soldiers from surrounding counties. And they went on to fight at Chickamauga and the Atlanta Campaign and a few other places. So it's, uh, it's a great way that, that we can remember Rockford's uh, connection to the Civil War. Yeah, and what was it like, you know, if, you, if you've done any of the, of the research on uh, mm -hmm. how it was discovered and, and some of the, maybe the artifacts that were left behind tying it back to that history? Well, there is a, a marker now at the, uh, at the triangle in the neighborhood by Boylevin and Ellsworth Street, and that does uh, have, a, you know, a marker to help people remember what was there. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a, a unique place where the troops would train, and mm -hmm. then the the Rockford residents would come and bring them lunch and hang out and picnic with them uh, in the area and, and support them before they went off to fight. So yeah. it's uh, you know it's before this was the far northern edge of town, believe it not right. back then, and uh, th just across the street at uh, Greenwood Cemetery is a is a spot where many uh, Civil War soldiers are now buried, and so it's uh, it's a central part of Rockford's history in that area and ties right back to the Civil War. Yeah, and I know it's such an interesting time period for so many people to learn about. I think a mm -hmm. lot of people really like learning about war as gruesome as it may be. What was well, one thing that really stood out to you that was maybe the most unique fact that you learned? Well, one thing that's not directly tied to Camp Fuller but uh, happened just beforehand, uh, the first Union uh, casualty of the war is a Rockford resident named Elmer Ellsworth. He uh, died in 1861, removing a Confederate flag from a building in Alexandria, Virginia, wow. and he lied in state in uh, in the White House. The first he was a uh, a friend of Abraham Lincoln. He'd clerked in his law practice down in Springfield, wow. and so. That is uh, also why that street is named Ellsworth now in that neighborhood. So interesting. Well, Luke, we really appreciate it. Wish we had more time, but you can always head out to Midway Village Museum, get all those details there for you. Appreciate you coming out every Thursday. My pleasure. All right. We'll be back with your headlines. Another quick story and a look at your forecast.